Uh, what we did is we took the 1900 building and we left the exterior facade completely intact. With the exception of new windows uh, and a complete uh, brick uh, clean and, and terracotta and limestone cleaning, uh, which gives the exterior facade really a, a, a new look. Uh, the interior, we uh, took out stairwells uh, on the east side of the building. We left uh, the grand staircase uh, from the ground floor right through the fourth. But for the most part, uh, the entire uh, interior was uh, gutted. Uh, the mechanicals uh, completely uh, were taken out, as one can imagine, dating back to 1900, 1910. Uh, so it, it, it really was a complete remodel, uh, not to mention the fact that we then added the east wing as well as the central commons area. Uh, which encompasses also the ground uh, level, which is the lecture hall, the new lecture hall. We wanted to create a look that lent itself to the 1900-1910 facade. So in fact, the 2010 facade that exists today on the east and north uh, side of the building really creates uh, the building as a whole. It brings not only the 1900 and the 1910, but also the new addition together. What makes it special uh, as a green building, uh, lead building uh, certification, is the fact that we have sedum plants, we have small trees uh, on each uh, plaza and terrace level. Uh, and then what also makes the building green is in fact the mechanicals of the uh, building. Uh, we have a chilled beam system that uh, creates the air conditioning for the building including uh, the HV uh, system. The technology that we've interjected into this building now and introduced is 21st century plus. Not only the wiring, the plumbing, uh, the data, the phone, uh, we, we actually went the extra mile. We, we introduced additional capabilities, not for today, but for tomorrow. We have that capability. We wanted user-friendly spaces, uh, spaces that would draw people into the building, not just for a classroom uh, or a seminar, but who may want to come in and study, who may want to come in and meet with a colleague or uh, a peer. We actually only had two meeting uh, spaces in this building. And uh, to realize that we now have 10 meeting spaces plus 10 uh, technologically advanced classroom spaces uh, is really quite nice and uh, it, very, very functional. What strikes me is uh, as I lived and breathed this project uh, daily, uh, as I was in during the construction phase, it strikes me as to how beautiful this building really is and how functional it is. To see the, the numbers of students who come and go for classes is, is terrific. But to see those students also then decide to stay in the commons or out in the plaza or on the terrace, that really is kind of unique. We didn't see that in the past. People would come and they would exit in a very quick hurry. Today they're staying, you know, they, they find this to be a welcoming, inviting facility.